Hello guys, welcome to the ICD10 PCS coding series. If you are new to the channel, subscribe and follow the playlist from the beginning so that you understand all the root operations thoroughly. This is part 46 of the inpatient coding series and today we will learn about the root operation control from the group number 8 of the medical and surgical section in ICD10 PCS. I have worked in the medical coding and billing processes for almost 20 years with a lot of experience in medical coding, auditing, training and mentoring. I have helped many professionals in gaining knowledge and also preparing for medical coding certifications. I am dual certified from both Ahima with the CCS certification and from AAPC with the CPC certification. I also carry extensive knowledge in all the verticals of the revenue cycle management. So at the end of this learning session, we will have a better understanding of coding the root operation control from the eighth group of root operations. There are a total of nine groups of root operations and we are talking about the eighth group now and the first root operation from the eighth group which is control. We will also look at an example of coding from the medical and surgical section. Remember, the medical and surgical section is the most important and the largest section in ICD-10 PCS. If you can master this, then coding for the other sections is pretty easy. So, as I said earlier, there are a total of 31 root operations in the medical and surgical section alone. And these root operations are divided into nine groups based on similar attributes of surgical procedures. Today, we are looking at the eighth group which talks about root operations that define other repairs. So, there are only two root operations in this eighth group, control and repair. These two root operations are used when the objective or the goal of the procedure is to control bleeding by closing off the body part, either by cauterizations or by suturing the bleeding portion. And today, specifically, we are looking at the root operation control, which carries a character value of 3. Root operations are the most important as aspect of building an ICD-10 PCS code. So remember that root operations always have to define the objective or the goal of the procedure. Based on that, you have to pick up the correct root operation. So you need to understand the procedure correctly always. Okay, read the definitions carefully and compare them to the procedure performed. So the root operation control. Root operation control is defined as stopping or attempting to stop post-procedural or other acute bleeding. Remember post-procedural. This is the most important aspect. The site of the bleeding is always coded as an anatomical region and not as a specific body part. Okay, this is another point that you need to remember. And another important point to note with this root operation uh, control is that if another specific root operation is used to accomplish the bleeding control, then that root operation should be coded and control should not be coded separately, which means basically control of bleeding as part of another specific procedure is always included. But if the overall procedure in itself is control only, then you have to code the root operation control. As I said, exceptions. So the root operation control is used to represent procedures which are performed to treat post-procedural or post-operative bleeding. If one of these procedures which are listed here like bypass, detachment, excision, extraction, reposition, replacement or resection, uh, if one of these root operations is performed to uh, stop the bleeding, then control should not be coded separately. Okay, so as I said, control, the root operation control is coded only when uh, there is no other specific root operation performed and the whole and sole objective is to stop the bleeding and nothing else. Another important note to remember from the root operation control is that the root operation control includes irrigation and evacuation of hematomas. 
okay done at the operative site they should not be coded separately so both irrigation and evacuation usually may be necessary to clear the operative field and then effectively stop the bleeding without clearing you cannot do the control of bleeding right so this evacuation and irrigation of hematomas is included in the root operation control so these are examples of procedures that are coded under the root operation control control of post uh, post prostatectomy hemorrhage control of intracranial subdural hemorrhage control of bleeding duodenal ulcer then control of retroperitoneal hemorrhage so basically these are all post operative bleedings for the most part that we are talking about okay this is a more specific uh, scenario of coding the root operation control a patient is returned to the operating room after open heart surgery to investigate post operative hemorrhage an incision is made at the original operative site and the source of the bleeding is identified in the pericardial cavity which is repaired so this is post operative bleeding if you look at look at the table okay so this is the table for the control of bleeding status uh, i mean post operative uh, heart surgery okay after the uh, heart surgery patient has some sort of a bleeding which is still occurring and control is being performed so the code should be 0 w 3 d 0 z and z section should be medical and surgical which is zero body system is anatomical regions general okay since the procedure is performed in the pericardial pericardial cavity we are talking uh, we, we are taking the uh, body system as anatomical regions okay the third uh, character is for the root operation is control for the root operation fourth character for the body part would be pericardial cavity which is d Okay, as I said, since the source of the bleeding is in the pericardial cavity, we are picking up the fourth character as pericardial cavity. The approach for the fifth character is open. Sixth character is Z for no device because no device is left in place. And the seventh character is Z again for no qualifier. So the code should be 0, W, 3, D, 0, Z and Z. So the key points from this video, the site of the bleeding for a control procedure is coded as an anatomical region and not as a specific body part. This is specifically only to the root operation control. Okay, and control is used to represent procedures performed to treat post-operative or post-procedural bleeding. If root operations such as bypass, detachment, excision, extraction, reposition, replacement or resection are performed then those root, root operations should be coded and control cannot be coded separately as usual you will find the online version of the ICD-10 PCS coding manual from this link that is provided by CMS this link is also available in the description of the video so go there and pick up the link once you go to the link you can click on the zip file which contains the codes and tables, uh, code tables and the index in this link. Thank you so much for watching guys. Please subscribe and support the channel. I really hope uh, all these videos are helpful and uh, you know, uh, you'll be able to learn ICD-10 PCS in simple terms, terminologies. This is the most important topic for inpatient coders. And in the next videos, we will talk about the root operation repair from the root, uh, group number Eight. I'll also do a uh, video on upcoming updates for the CPT for year 2023 and then also separate a separate video series for CPT and also ICD and CM coding. Thank you.